Good evening, peeps. My name is Scripps, and welcome back to Omri. Finally, once again, yes, you people who have been following this series have now finally let out a great relief sigh because you've realized, no, I haven't given up on this series yet. I, d I just don't know. For some reason, this game, recording it, takes such a physical toll on me in terms of just having to go through so much dialogue every time and having to play for multiple hours, usually just so I can rank up the different characters. It just takes a lot to record, so it just usually takes me a lot to really sit down and do it but I hope I hope in the future that that changes so you guys won't have to wait two weeks just for one episode of this but when we left off you guys might not remember we got sent down into the dungeon by sweetheart uh, which I think is Captain Space Pants or whatever's girl or former girlfriend and now we finally escaped we're dressed up as sprout moles and we need to get the fuck out of here that's that's actually all we need to do we need to GTFO right this minute and I don't know how much more fighting we're gonna have to do I actually don't know how much more of this night we have left to do I feel like we've done almost all oh oh we've been playing for a long time anyway so it feels like we're sort of reaching the end of the night and maybe we just got a final boss battle up ahead with the the, the sweetheart and then we'll get back to the real world Ugh, my dear sous chefs I'm afraid my back just can't take it anymore it is at this unfortunate time that I announce my retirement. But wait, Chief! Without you, we, we, who will lead us in our in the task of baking a most significant cake, cake for the main event? Sous chefs, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh yes, I, I hear you, Chief. As the most capable one, capable one of us, I will volunteer and take charge of this task. I won't fail you, I promise. You will most definitely fail. You guys have not been very useful. We're just not very smart. I'm sorry to... Oh. Hey, you there. You four are sous chefs now. Oh, no. Meet me in the kitchen pronto. Um, is this some sort of side quest mission? Because if it is, I don't really want part of it. Let's just at least explore the rest of the castle and see, because this seems like a big place. So we could easily walk into somewhere where we're just not supposed to be... Oh. Hey guys! Or yeah, this seems like a big place, just a place where you could do a lot of optional stuff and... Oh, hi! Is that actually Pluto? Or... Yeah, it is. It is, I think. Or not. Okay. Well, whoever they are, they just left. I'm not gonna ask you why you're wearing that. Let's just keep going. Oh no! <laughs> There's so much extra content. I can't play it all. I'm so sorry, folks. I can't. I can't. <laughs> this is, um... Guys. Oh, I just realized it's a wedding song you guys are singing. Oh, it sounds awful. No, 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 no. This won't do at all. You in the center left, you call that singing? My cousin's plastic flamingo sings better than you. Wow, wow, harsh. Just ruin a man's dreams like that. And don't think I can see you in the back row doozing off or dozing off during the chorus. Pull yourself together. Or, el or else Sweetheart will have us all thrown in the dungeon. Who's gonna be left to... or to help her if everyone gets tossed in the dungeon? Huh. These sprout moles seem to have run into some trouble. I wonder if there's any way that we can help. Hey guys, you all need a hand? We're professional helpers here, at your service. We are? Don't speak for all of us, Kel. Oh, thank goodness, the professionals have arrived. We absolutely must have a choir ready before Sweetheart's main event, but there simply isn't enough time. You see, we sprout molds become very sleepy when listening to music. So, as you can imagine, the choir keeps putting itself to sleep. Oh, that is actually very unfortunate. I'm afraid we may have to retort, resort to... Alternative methods to keep them all awake. Chalk therapy? I see. Not to fear, dear fellow Sprout Mole. I know exactly what you're talking about. You do? You... you do? <laughs> yeah, great question. Thank goodness we're saved. I should have expected as much from professionals. I'll handle this good sir, you can trust me. It's called leaving. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, folks. I'm just trying to explore everything and make sure that I'm not just walking around being an idiot. Because this seems like a place where I could, where I could, if I wanted to, spend many a hours. Oh, oh, jeez, look at the size of this crowd. We'll never get through at this rate. 
Let's look around for another exit, or maybe the crowd will die down eventually. We should check back here later. Oh, maybe I need to do a couple of those events to bring the crowds over there. Interesting. Hold on, I'm gonna keep exploring, but I think that's actually what we need to do. I think we need to disperse the, the, the crowd in some way. What am I even looking at? Is that a flying crown? Oh, wow, that's a straight-up picture of Venus. Hello. Oh, wait, there's a keyboard key. Hold on, get it. Can I? Come on, K. Or, do it, no, what? Why can't I pick it up? Oh, there you go. K. I never like that. I never like that. I don't like the hangman puzzle. It's creepy. Also, what's this? Looks like a job for Aubrey. Yeah, it does. Tag Aubrey. Yes. What's with the face over here, though? A peculiar face is indented and you're not sure what it means. No, I found a couple of those at this point. From top to bottom, the creation of Sweetheart. Sweetheart Nika. The birth of Sweetheart. Yeah, Venus. Oh boy, those are actually all famous pictures, but just with Sweetheart in them. Oh no. Okay. You know what? Let's just go. I have a feeling this lady, um... Or maybe, maybe Captain Space Pants shouldn't feel so bad about breaking up with this girl. She is, or he is, not good business. Also, you can break these and get get some stuff, but it's not very good. So do I want to spend my entire time just smashing these? Because I don't think so. Oh, hello. Giant light. This place is enormous. And it reminds me very heavily of another game that I played back in the day called Pocket Mirror. Because it had the same, like, whimsical horror attitude to it. Or sort of, like, vibe to it. What are we... What is what is this and why is there a gigantic line all the way up um i don't know what i've been told sweetheart's love says good as gold what oh my there's simply no time to admit entry to all these unruly guests it just goes to show that we mustn't ever underestimate underestimate the popularity of our dear sweetheart you there servants with ugly faces the upcoming main event has a strict dress code it is of utmost importance that our audience is stressed to Sweetheart's exact specifications. Here's a simple chart that even a non-sprout mole could understand. Pink good, <laughs> every other color bad. Okay, I see how it is. Kindly ask all the lesser guests to follow you and bring them to me. You can do something that simple, can you? What? How dare they make me wait? Do you want to ask the sprout to follow you? No, maybe you should leave. Have someone more charming. Um, perhaps someone more charming would change the tune. Hero? Hero's pretty. Hero is very, very charming. Let's be honest. Come on, Hero. Yeah, I attacked Hero. Okay, so I don't know which one to pick. How did they make me wait? Yeah, follow. Hey, hello. Greetings, esteemed guest. Please follow me as your presence is urgently required. Me? They've got to make an exception. I must go, go show them a piece of my mind. What is it now? Do you need help with something? How many sprout moles are, what are left? I mean a lot. I, it's not that. Even from here I can see that there are 12 guests that are improperly dressed. Oh, okay. So I, I just need to find all the ones that aren't dressed right. That's easy. Easy peasy. Because you're green and apparently green isn't a nice color. I don't mind green at all. Actually, that could be yellow. I don't know. I'm also red-green colorblind. <laughs> Dang, I knew I picked the wrong tie. Yeah, you done did, son, and now you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna be sent directly to the dungeon. Actually, is that what I'm doing? Am I helping them throw people in the dungeon? Because I don't want to. Okay, what about this? Oh, what is it now? Do you need help? Actually, there is one more over here. Hello. I need you to come with me, good sir. Yeah, come with me. Th this was a little bit hard. It was hard to see the turquoise ones because I can just not see those very well. Okay. But I think, no, also you. I spy you with my eye. This is weird. And I don't know what to get out of this, but it, maybe it is just an optional thing. Why, where, why do I gotta go? Well, because you're dressed weird. You don't just show up to a freaking nice party in underwear, do you? Splendid, I knew you had it in you. Now we can finally get rid of these unpinkish guests. <laughs> Guards, escort these sprouts to the dun- Oh god, no I did. Oh no! And that takes care of that. Those unpinkish guests will never see the light of day again. Oh no, that. And what do I get out of this? What? Did I just help them send people in the dungeon and it did nothing? God damn it! 
I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Uh, uh hey. Sir Maximus, stop, imposters. You violated the law. I know what you are, and you're not sprout moles. Hmph. <laughs> You must be wondering how I'm able to tell. You see, I'm above those feeble and inexperienced heralds and marshes. I am Sir Maximus, and with my impressive lineage, I will be victorious and bring honor to my family. Uh-oh. What? Is this just, is this just gonna be a boss sprout, isn't it? Okay, well, whatever. Look his lies, sure. What you're gonna do is you're gonna power hit. I got a bunch of new attacks since last time, by the way, because I practiced my characters a little bit. But other than that, everything should be about the same. But you can read up there what the different abilities are. Okay. Uh, sure. Run and gun. And just attack for you. Actually, smile. Smile will be more useful so he doesn't do so much damage. He is a boss, after all. Oh. There we go. Very nice. Oh, that did so much damage. I like that. Took 64 damage. I'm doing so- Ow! Okay, that's actually not that bad. I can deal with that easily. Kolomori, maybe? I don't know what that does. Sir Mac- Oh, no. Ah, my bones. My everything. Okay. That hurt bad. Your turn, Omari. Is it my turn? Oh, it healed me. Okay. Come on, Sir Maximus. You should fall now. Or very soon, anyway. Okay, look at Omri. I don't know what the looking stuff in that does. I have no idea. Okay, yay! Good thing he didn't do his ultimate attack more than once. That was terrible. I don't know how we're gonna deal with the end boss if it's already this much of a struggle. Okay. Is that just it? I don't know what that did at all. Did it disperse the crowd on here a little bit? No, it doesn't. It doesn't really seem like it, so. I need to figure out what to do. Would you like to throw in? Sure. But yeah, I need to figure out what to do in order to get out of here, because otherwise, we'll be stuck here the entire episode. You know what, how about... I don't remember what was in here, actually. Oh yeah, let's try with the Virtuoso guy. This will be a piece of cake. Just hack me and I know exactly what to do. You do? Why didn't you tell me that before that I could just hack you in? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna try to just do these puzzles around the place because it seems like to be doing something. Uh, especially with that Maximus guy, so... Mr. Virtuo Virtuoso Mold, sir. I'm all ready to go. Thank you, gracious professional. We're in your debt. You are? I mean, don't say anything yet. We have no... Oh, no, Kel. Are you gonna be tossing tomatoes at him? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, that is actually exactly what we're doing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is much easier and much more fun than the other puzzle, so it's fine. Oh god, they fall asleep so quickly, though. Yeah, wake up, you idiots. I'm gonna toss your brothers at you. Ah, I'm seeing improvement already, but I wonder if we can do better. Do you wanna try again, professional? I believe in you, professional. Whip us into shape. Ah, uh, I am I supposed to do it better than before? Come on. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. I feel like I need to look at their eyes before they actually fall asleep. I'm gonna try my best to keep them awake, all of them. Oh my god, you guys are so terrible. Oh. Yes, 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 splendid work. With your help, the main event will surely be most gracious. Oh, it looks like it's almost time for the event. This, meant, uh, this means we only have enough time for one more session. Do you want to give us one last shot? Uh, nah, I won't wait, I accidentally I clicked yes. Okay, whatever. We're gonna do it again. <laughs> We're gonna do it again, baby. This isn't that hard anyway, I just need to spam them. Come on, baby. Yeah, stay awake. Stay awake, you dumbasses. I, I can see you. No, 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 no. Don't you pass out on me. Don't you dare. Don't you... No, 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 no. Don't you... Don't you dare. I see you. Ima imagine the risk of that if you were singing and you just missed a note and you got a tomato right in your head. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I was about to say, guys, chill. But that's exactly what I need you not to do, actually. I need you to stay very much conscious. Splendid work, with your help, the main event, sure. 
Thank you for your time. We'll try to make do with what we have. Thank you, no problem. So what did that do? I, g I guess we're just helping prepare for the main event? Oh! Oh hey guys! Oh wait, there's actually a melon over here. I want to try to make my characters as strong as possible, but we're if, if we're not strong enough, we're gonna have to, you know, just make do with what we have. Or practice a little bit off-screen. That's just how it is. It's a weird game to record, but I love recording this game. Even though, yeah, again, it is, it is a little troublesome at times. Can I save with this thing? I've seen it around the place. No, I can't, okay. Never mind. I don't know if it actually shows that the... That it, the crowd has dispersed anywhere. But I think something's happening. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. So the next thing is the chef, right? I think so? If I'm not wrong, like, like the sh I need to help the sous, the, 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 the sous chefs? Okay, but here we are. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So where... Oh yeah, I need to go up with you. Okay, hold on. Headset sitting on weird, sorry about that. What took you so long? Step on it, will ya? I can't leave this room until I bake the best cake in existence. You sure? Um, so what do you want, what do you, what do you, what do you need me to do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I was just digging the pantry. I mean, who doesn't? Okay, um, what do I need to do? Ah, ah cool. Oh wait, there's a melon over here. Give me that. You got a coconut. Yay! You learned juice? Me? Did I get an did I get an ability from that? Holy crap! Okay, glad I found that. So what do we need to do, boss? Are you ready to start baking? Just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. Uh, I remember the head chef's recipe by heart. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hey, don't be nervous. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. First, we must preheat the oven to 75 degrees. A perfect 75 degrees. I'm assuming Celsius at least. 75 degrees. Excellent work! The next thing to do is to mix two main ingredients in a bowl. Flowers and ping pong- Ugh. Ugh. What? Flowers and- Fla- Do you want to take fl- No, I- Didn't it spell specifically flowers? Or am I stupid? Hold on. Do you want to take eggs? Oh, it's probably how they- Because they're stupid. Okay. You need more ingredients. Oh yeah, and then flour. I just need to decrypt your dumbass recipe. Okay, let's do this. That- that do it? Excellent work! The next thing to do is mix the two main ingredients in a bowl. Flowers and ping pong ball. I know. Mix? Are you sure this is what you want to do? Yeah, I'm sure. Ping pong balls. I don't know. Makes more sense though, if it's flour and eggs. Okay, you're doing great! Next comes the salt and cheese. You beat those things to those things together until it's soup. The... The what and the what? Next come the salt and cheese. The salt. And the cheese. Um... Do you want to take pine berries? The cheese? What do you mean the cheese? Do you want to take old boot? No! Oh, you... Butter? And... Do you mean salt? Do you mean... Sugar and butter? I'm just going off baking instincts here. I haven't baked a lot of cakes, but I'm pretty sure I know a few ingredients. Okay. Is this it? I don't know. Now we're cooking. Last but not least, grab the sauce and cut... Cut... <laughs> <laughs> Grab the sauce and cut it into pieces? The sauce? What do you mean, the sauce? <laughs> okay, do you want to take the fruit juice? No! Do you want to take the straw? Sure! Is that the sauce? I don't know. Okay, let's try. Sure, there's one. Yeah, sure! Sounds like a decent cake if you use strawberries. Magnificent! Now mix them all together and stick it in a microwave. <laughs> no! It's that easy. It's not. You need to gather all your ingredients. Take mixture. Take mixture. Take platter. That is not how you do it, folks. You do not put a cake in the fucking microwave. Okay, it's fine. You know, he's boss. Take the cake batter, yes, and put it in the not microwave. You put the cake batter in the oven. Whew. That's better. I thought we were actually going to put it in my cooler. Mmm. You baked a cake. What the heck did you put in there? Ah, all, all done? Beautiful work, I must say. Let's have a taste.
Não? Did that game over me, really? Hold on. Did that, that game over me, didn't it? What did I do wrong? What do you mean, the sauce? <laughs> what do you mean? Good riddance, that guy was such a drag. <laughs> now you're ready to actually bake this cake? A sure thing, man. 350 degrees, so it always switches? Okay, 350... That actually makes a lot more sense. 75 degrees is not what you should bake a cake at. Awesome, now mix flour and eggs together. Wait, did he actually say it? Mix flour and... Oh, thank you. I actually almost did it well. Um, I think he's gonna tell me exactly... Yeah, you need... Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Fine. Is this something that I could, I could have actually done on my first try, though? I should have just actually set it to 350 degrees. Also, that makes more sense, because I think that that's Fahrenheit. That makes way more sense. Even in Celsius, 75 is very low to cook a cake. Sugar and butter, beat it toast nice and fluffy. I got that part right. <sighs> okay, fine. I'm sure this one... Yeah, I'm sure... I'm so annoyed by that. I was so close to actually nailing it. And I'll find it for the topping. It's just gotta be stropping. I fucking nailed it, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so upset by that. That's what you wanna do, yeah. Shing, assuming you're using Omri's knife for that. All done, sweet. Now grab all your stuff and put it in the baking pan. Put it in the oven. The only thing I got wrong was the temperature. I don't know I don't freaking what the temperature to cook the cake at and whether or not if it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. How am I supposed to know? Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I'm still proud of my initial cake batter. Okay. Put that in. You put the cake batter in the oven. Yay! Okay. You baked a cake. Wow, it looks pretty good. And that's how you bake a cake. Yup, that'll do it. Finally a cake our late head chef would be proud of. May his memory live on forever. You may go now, servants be free. What's this? You got a frying pan. Is that a weapon? I'm assuming that's you, Hero, since you're the only cooker around here. Oh, that's great! Hell yeah! Frying pan, less effective than a microwave. Snacks will restore more heart ba Yes, that's awesome! Also, I need to heal my guys, but... What is this? Oh! Nice! I use a bowl of sweet strawberries. Would you like to Yes, hell yeah! I love strawberries. I actually got very, very sick while eating strawberries. Like, seriously, I got sent to the hospital, and now, it wasn't even related to the strawberries. But now I just don't eat a lot of strawberries, because every time I do eat a lot of strawberries, it reminds me of that incident. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's sure a lot of sprout molds here, and they all sure love Sweetheart. I tried offering one some food earlier, but she called me a peon and threw it back at me. Sprout molds are peculiar creatures, aren't they? They sure are. Picnic basket. Oh, and we can't even have a picnic? Oh, well, it's fine. I appreciate it anyway. But where do we need to go now? Hmm. Oh, this looks like a job for Aubrey. Sh sure. Oh. Wait. Okay, I think I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah, god dang it. I thought I saw something down in the dungeon and it was one of those, but it's only Omri that can see them. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna go back and get it. Oh! Hello. <laughs> Sir Maximus the second. Stop imposters. I know what you are, and you're not sprout molds. You must be wondering how I'm able to tell. You see, I'm the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father, but I am stronger than he. With my impressive lineage and my father by my side, I will be victorious. Oh, it's gonna be another one of those. Okay. At least we're making progress. Okay. Good man. I'm asking you to, to, to chill the fuck out for a sec. Okay. Lucky Slice, sure. Lucky Slice just does so much damage, and if I actually get... Uh, Omari really happy. It's am amazing. Okay, and you are gonna flex and you are just gonna Smile yeah, cuz that lowers damage. Okay. I don't know why I say it like I'm from America damage Okay Hit rate rose. Yes 
I'm sorry I don't show these battles a lot. I know that that's something that I should probably do more, but they're just a, they're, it's just the same sort of thing that's happening all the time, and it will take forever. Okay, but you are gonna lucky slice again. You're gonna make Omari even happier, and now you're gonna uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? Curveball, sure. Oh no, not ultimate attack! No, don't do that! Ugh. Oh no, Kel did die. I was actually just joking about that. So he's a sword. Oh no. Okay, it's fine though. I still think we can do it without him. Yep, cook for Omri instead. Oh, but now we, I could almost use my freaking ultimate attack, but now I can't. Fine. He's on the verge anyway. Just annoying them. I'm gonna have to. Oh, come on, really? It whiffed? There you go. Come on, that must do it, right? Father, forgive me. I'm so sorry. I failed you. Well, you did take out one of my party. The other guy did manage to do that. Hero grew to level 16. That is good. Homemade. Homemade jam? Did you learn to revive people, hero, you beautiful bastard? Hold on. I gotta check this out. Uh, massage. Act first. Mm, guard. Brings a friend. Brings back a friend, friend that's to. I don't care if that uses a lot, that is amazing. Because jam, like just regular jam, is so expensive on its own. So I just think that's cool. Okay, anyway, sorry, I am consumed an entire energy drink while doing this. Okay, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Mari, I'm coming back. I'm hurting everywhere. <laughs> okay, but I think we're almost done. I don't remember what I need to do now, though. What am I missing? Oh, music machine. Well, this is awkward. Yeah, it is. The chambers. So, are you guys? Oh, I don't like that. Okay. What is this place? Oh, the oh wait, this is her room. Oh, and that space pants. Spa I don't know why I call them space pants. It's space boy. Pearl. Poetry, by sweetheart. Don't read it. Don't read it. Ah, a day. And a day it was. Such a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you for your beautiful insight, um, sweetheart. I'm mean, a if there's Cindy Laura, would you like to sleep here with your friends? <sighs> sure, why not? Why not? You know, you and your friends feel like new. Okay. You found a body pillow. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I find? Body pillow. Uh, TV remote, it doesn't say anywhere. Is it an important item? Is it under important? Oh god, I didn't mean to equip that. Put that back on, please. What? Pocket? Can you- a pocket? Uh, oh, it's a toy, probably. Nope. I don't know where it is. But let's keep going, I guess? Ooh. You got a teapot. You learned tea time. It's weird how you can learn abilities just from picking things up, but I guess that means I need to be more aware of the stuff that I can find around the place. Oh. Gasp! What are you doing here? Come on, Sprout Molds aren't allowed in Sweetheart's chambers. I, you, you know the rules. Ah, wait a minute. Perhaps you'll be able to help me. Sweetheart ordered me to move the statue out of her bedroom before she returns, but I can't get it to move at all. If only this thing was suddenly and conveniently smashed into itty bitty pieces. Well, ma'am? What it sounds like to me is that you're in need of some destruction. And Aubrey here happens to be destruction specialist. Aubrey? Well, that is a very strange name for a spout mole. Then again, Sweetheart has been running out of new names to give as of late. Wait, Kel, isn't that a statue of Captain Spaceboy? Uh, I would feel bad destroying it. Psh, it's not like he's ever gonna know. Captain Spaceboy and Sweetheart are a thing of the past. Uh, live and let live, that's what I always say. You don't always say that, but fine, I guess I could give it a shot. Okay, I believe in you, Audrey. I've been heartstoking this area for quite a while, so maybe this is what'll do it. Okay, here I go, this time, I won't fail. Oh my god. Wow, okay, you done did it. <coughs> my word, you've done it. Well, time to clean this up. Don't just jump into the shards. Or just make them fade away. Okay, cool. Phew, you're real lifesavers. I should have known just to leave this task to specialists. 
Did that actually do anything? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, but you can move that one, huh? Oh, boy. Well, this is just sad. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. My, my, well, this is a surprise. Turns out all I had to do was lift it from the bottom. It sure was. Okay. Is that all you need from me, L young lady? My, my, well, this is a surprise. Turned out, uh, yeah, okay. It is. I'm just gonna teleport with this cake. I don't know why these cakes teleport me, but they do. They just teleport me into some, what I assume is like a future area of the game. Or prior, and then gives me some, it, it, I think it's given me jam packets all the time, but I'm not sure that'll continue being the case. But yeah, I've been hard stuck in this area. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe this'll be what helps clear up, because all I know is that I need to head into the bottom, but I need to clear up the crowd somehow. Ah. Hey guys, how are you? Okay, let's go, go, get out of here. Oh, finally, freaking finally. Hello. Stop, Sir Maximus the Third. stop imposters, I know who you are, and you're not sprout moles. Hmm. You must be wondering how I'm able to tell. You see, I'm the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus II, a grandson of Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father and my grandfather, but that has only fueled my rage and thirst for vengeance. With my impressive lineage and my father and grandfather by my side, I will be victorious and avenge my family. How are you gonna be much worse? I'm gonna guess that your ultimate attack is gonna suck. Okay, well, how bad can it be? It can be pretty bad. Okay, trick. If a if the foe is happy, greatly reduce its speed. Ooh. See, I could actually make him happy. Hmm. You know what? Let's just stab him for now, and then keep going with the strat that I've been going with so far. Just prep up, and then yeah, smile. That that's the only thing I can think of. Ooh, nice. Oh no, actually not nice. I thought it was him that whiffed, but no, I was the one who whiffed. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much damage! Speed fell, takes 160. That is amazing. That did amazingly right there. Hero, you never do impressive damage, but you know what? You're still awesome. You can revive people. You can literally bring them back from the dead. You're like a warlock. Oh no. Yeah, that toasted Aubrey just straight up. Okay, it's um. Ah, uh, uh, okay, do that, and then, I guess, flex again, and you can use that thing you just got on her. Please don't one-shot people. No, I cannot let my father and grandfather's deaths be in vain. Was that his ultimate attack? Oh, I like that. You sort of put jam back on the butter. Don't do it. Okay, just keep lucky slicing him. That's all you can do. Uh... Oh, oh, no. Ow! Oh, everything hurts. Everything hurts. Ow! Use the power of his grandfather. Okay. Flexes and feels his best. Oh, well, that's not good. I might actually lose this one. Holy crap. Okay. Aubrey, I don't know how you took no damage during that, but I'm very proud of you. Oh, I should have called out to Omri, shouldn't I? Don't attack Omri. Why can't I? I feel like I haven't been able to move in ages. Oh, it never it never helps to look at Omri. He just gets confused. Okay. Let me heal, Father, Grandfather. I'm sorry, I failed you. <sighs> that was a tough one. Two thousand XP, and you don't even get any of that kill. I'm s mm, I'm not okay with that. Omri's level seventeen though. God damn, I'm owning this. Is there is my entire team at least like level sixteen? Please. Hey, is it just me or does it seem quieter all of a sudden? Wasn't there a crowd of sprout molds at the entrance earlier? I don't see them around anywhere. They must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's follow them, Omari. Maybe they can lead us out of here. Maybe. Hold on. Oh, Kel, you suck! It's all that goddamn dying you've been doing. It's not good for your leveling up. Okay, fine. But hopefully Omari being in level 17 is can make up for it a little bit. I hope. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Jesus Christmas, that place took a long time to get through. Okay, I don't think we're done yet, though. 
Oh my god, no we're not. You serious? It's gonna take ages. Where are you guys going? I have no idea. Oh, sort of stumbling behind. I think the goal is just to find Sweetheart at this point. But I don't know... We could also just leave, you know. I'd be fine with leaving. Leaving would be perfectly fine with me. Woohoo! Oh, finally out of Sweetheart's castle. I wonder what's up with that big event everyone's preparing for. Strange, I don't see any sprout molds from the entrance anywhere. Where could they all have gone? Uh, there must be a hidden exit somewhere. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. Let's do so. Okay. Um, oh god, are we gonna have to go through an entire maze? Are you serious, boy? Okay, let's just try to see, let's just try to go on ahead and see what is necessary. We keep cutting down these vines, but they just keep going back. What? Okay, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to go into the labyrinth and activate those different buttons that we can find. Oh, well, get out of here. Not you. Well, it was a party initiative. It's anyone's game. Well, then I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want to fight you guys. You guys suck. Okay. But we need to go in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I actually... Can you do something from here, Kel? If you can hit something from here, that's very impressive. No, you, you, you can't. God dang it, I thought you could. Oh, youch, that hurt! Is everyone okay? What happened? Ugh, that sweetheart Topiary just fired a laser at us. Hmm, there's gotta be a, be a way to get rid of these guys. This? Alright, sweetheart, you asked for this. Dang, I missed. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, say the Kel, you're not gonna knock a, You're gonna, not gonna knock out anything throwing like that. Why don't you try aiming for once? Huh? Aim? I can do that? Of course! Even you can aim, Kel. Alright, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, what? I'm so confused. Okay, hold on. Let me try again. Uh, okay. So, oh, I just need to... I just need to do it at the right time. I get it. Okay. Hold on. Can I do it again? Well, I gotta do it from another place. I can't do it that way. Nope. That's not gonna do it. Okay, so we're gonna need to find another podium, but that's fine. Got cheese wheel. An entire cheese wheel. Okay. Now this thing. Okay. There we go. Toss. There we go, baby. And... Okay, I guess that's just the way we're going now. This area is dragging out a bit, I gotta admit. Like, it's a long game, I get that, but holy crap, this segment is just dragging on forever. I'm very sorry we don't get to any other story parts, but this is taking quite a while to get through. And that's just also part of the experience, and we gotta deal with that. Okay. Do I need to fight you? Protecting the sacred password is an arduous task. Perhaps one day you'll f you fine young moles will carry the same burden of the illustrious elite. Password? The sacred password? What password? I don't even- what did I come here for? I came all the way back here and I just opened up the way to get back- What am I doing? Oh wait, what is this? Oh! Oh! Wait, hold on! No, 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 get back in there! Oh, so that gives me a save point back down here! I like that much more! Hey, Mari, how are you? It's fine, Mari. I don't need your, uh dead person advice right now. Right now we're just going by as and seeing how things go. Although I am quite clueless. So it obviously has something to do with these guys, right? Yeah, lemonade. It obviously has something to do with these golden guys, but... And they said something about a password? Careful where you tread. You're in the presence of one of Sweetheart's distingu distinguished elites. I will guard the wisdom of the castle with my life. And we're not gonna do anything about it. I guess we need to find something first and then attack them? I don't know. What are you even? I don't like you. Oh! Uh! Oh, I fucking hate that!
Oh, I hated that. Oh, that's what this game is so excellent at though. This game drags it out. Let me tell you, this game fucking takes its sweet time, but when it decides to be creepy, it catches you so off guard because it just gives you so much time to just sit here and not worry about it. Oh, I hate it. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't, oh, I hated that. You know what, let's, how about we inter interact with a big ass statue in the middle? Maybe that'll do something. An impressive statue of Sweetheart casts a discomforting shadow over the garden. Or it won't. Oh. It's like a Sphinx situation? What's the password? Romantic? And... Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. I said never mind. Wrong. Ow, ow. Did that hurt me? Ow, it did. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's just go back and heal. I know what I need to do now, at least. Or now I think I can at least go back and talk to the guys and tell them to give me the password. Give me the password, you dumb bastard. There are four passwords that must be spoken to Sweetheart Statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility of guarding the first of the four. Oh, it's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Ah, you're saying you would like to know the password? I apologize. I'm afraid this is not of my jurisdiction. Though, I suppose something tasty, off-white, and cubish may change my mind. I'm gonna bribe him with tofu. Give Carol the illustrious, the illustrious of tofu? Yeah, sure. I actually thought I was gonna fight you, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, mmm, delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose we could let it slip just this once. Now, leaning closer, the password that I've been entrusted with is... Sweet. Got that. Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Okay, I won't. I won't. Actually, I won't. It's just gonna be me and my crew that are gonna know it. Okay, so sweet. And then... Oh, god dang it. I didn't mean to run into you. I could actually... I might as well go up here. Why not? Uh, I see no reason to not do that. Okay. Looks like a job for Kel. Your turn, Kel. Let's do this. Uh, dup. Might as well smack all of them while you're at it. There you go. Very nice. Like that minigame? Okay. I'm so surprised by the amount amount of stuff put in this. I mean, I know I knew from the onset it was a lot, but I knew this game. I don't know how long this game was in development. Was it a, like an incredibly long time? It almost must have been, right? Hello, my good man. A password you might share. There are four passwords that must have been spoken. That must be spoken to the sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, it's one of the blah blah blah. The third of the four. Sweet. Okay. You want to know the password? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Huh? You really need it? Like really, really need it? Like you really, 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 really need it? Hmm. 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 I guess I have no choice then. But you promise. You have to promise not to tell anyone else. Pinky swear. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Oh, all done. Ah, oh, phew, I was worried you might have been someone untrustworthy. Now, leaning closer, the password that I've been entrusted with is... Filled. So, sweet something filled. Okay, I see. I could technically guess my way to it now, couldn't I? But I'm not gonna. Come on, my good boy, you wanna know the password, eh? Not so fast there, buddy, I gotta say. You're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you're really one of us highly intelligent and majestic creatures? You think I'd ever spill the password to a potential spy? Ha! Don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're a sprout mole, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what I'm thinking about right now. Oh, that's a tofu. Tofu! Oh, mmm, delicious tofu. I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of sprout moles out there. Now, leaning closer, the password that I've been entrusted with is... Jelly. Got that? Probably won't tell anyone. Okay, but hold on. I apologize for doubting you. Okay. Leaning close to the password I've been entrusted with is jelly. Got that? But he won't tell me which one it is. But I could try. Actually, wait. The guy's right here. Might as well. Oh, ow. Never mind. Okay. Hello, my good man. Password, please. There are four passwords. Uh, naturally, one of the... I've been given those by guarding the fourth of the four. Okay. But ugh, am I supposed to hold on to this super se super secret and everything, right? But like, it's about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry that I've started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food to the guards around here. 
And like, what pass kind of password is Donut anyway? As in, like, a, that stupid pet name that weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Police. That's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. They're always walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names like that back and forth. Saying things like, why don't you ask me to marry you yet? And I'm sorry, my friends don't approve of this relationship all the time. Ugh, so annoying. Well, whatever. I'm still stuck here, guarding the passwords with one of the, with those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. Mm, that's right, pity me if you want, see if I care. Here, here I am trapped in this lonely little corner of the garden, guarding the word donut, of all things. Jeez Louise. <laughs> what a sassy prick. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save one last time. Actually, maybe this is the final boss, or like, like not the final boss, but the boss. Final boss of the area. I don't like pickles. I hate that I have to tag you out every time, Kel. Just because you don't like pickles. And you still eat them anyway. You still get healed from... I was eating pickles, so... You just being a douchebag about it. But... Mario's Picnic Basket? Yes. I would like to save. Go over it. This has been a long chapter. I will admit, I've been recording for like a solid two hours now. Although, hopefully to you guys, it only feels like one. So what was it? Um... Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. It's sweet jelly filled donut, isn't it? Okay. Sweet jelly filled donut. You said sweet jelly filled donut. Correct? Hmm. Fine. <laughs> Sassy prick. Okay. Come on. Um, let me in. Let me in! Let me out of this chapter! Oh. Dear sweetheart, I love you so much. Let us have kids and spend the rest of our lives together. Together. I would like that very much. Thank you. Did something just shake the screen? Okay, actually, I don't have time for this. What is happening? Oh, can I eat pickles? Hi, it's pickles. Would you like to eat some? Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't like that sound. Littered across the floor. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Oh, we're back here. Holy crap. That took a while. No. <laughs> Oh! We finally made our way out! Whoa, what's with all the decorations? It looks like someone's about to get married! Who's about to get married? Uh oh, the show's about to start. Let's hide. Who's she gonna marry, if not Hero? Also, the music got all low for some reason. Who's gonna be, sweetheart? Are you gonna marry yourself lonely? Welcome all! Welcome all! Today is the most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode. It has been a splendiferous run. Thank you all so much for your viewership. You too, guys. Thank you for watching. For as long as we have been on air, we've rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved Sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, Sweetheart has been unable to find her one true love. But this time, we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. Oh, is it actually going to be the choir? Please welcome the to the aisle, Sweetheart's perfect suitor. Who? Don't tell me it's Captain Space Boy. I'll be very upset. Please no. Who is it going to be? I have no idea. Is it going to be the... It's going to be the one sprout that annoyed all, all, all this time? Oh, what? Oh, it's her. 
Yes, it is true. Now you've seen everything. The answer's been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself, of course. Silence. Uh oh. <clears throat> Let us begin the ceremony. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, come on. We ran, we, 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 we ran through this together. Come on. Dearly beloved, we're, we are g gathered here today. Uh oh. Sweetheart's marrying herself. That's so lame. Don't laugh, Kel. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. In that case, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Sweetheart and Sweetheart. You may now kiss the- I object. Stop this wedding immediately. What? Why? Don't do this, sweetheart. This wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here. Guards! Guards? Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's gonna send us to the dungeon again. Hmm. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I too once thought there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to, f f going to love from now on is myself. Now guards, seize her. Um, hero, I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero, my hero has come for me. Oh, hero. Oh, my sweet hero, I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Although it may only be between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you. I'll give you one last chance. Marry me, hero, here and now. Do so and I'll let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that, that's crazy. Uh-oh. She's not gonna be happy, is she? Is sweet- I wonder who is Sweetheart like in reality? Is she like an actual person or is she just one of those? Because I remember seeing Captain Space Boy in like the real world. He was like an action figure or something, but I wonder who she is. Was she the one in the candy store? What's this? You reject me again? But how could this be? I don't understand. Uh oh. Uh-oh, now you've done it. Yeah, we don't have. Ah, yeah, I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But it seems you're jealous of me, just like everyone else. Yes, that must be it. It must be my dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well, there's no need to be to despair anymore. I will end... You're suffering. Personally, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Farewell, miserable peons. Is that a mace or a wand? Because I'd much rather- Oh no, that is a mace. Oh no! I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever. Oh no, that is a heart-shaped maze. Okay. So that's probably gonna suck. But she probably has a theme, she probably has like a specific emotion. I don't know if it's anger like Space Boy, but this is just gonna be a test run. I'm probably not gonna fare very well on this one, but I'm gonna try, okay. Oh hell yeah, I love the music in the boss battles though, they're so cool. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, sure, you know what, you know what? Awesome, okay, let's just, uh... Let's Lucky Slice, and then you can uh, pep talk. Her, actually, hold on, I actually want a power hit. Mm, nah, it's fine. You know what? Give it to him. 
And you, flex, you, smile, do your thing. I'm scared to see how much damage he's gonna do. Sweetheart's attack, though, yeah, thank god for that. Flexes. Hell yeah! Here, take- oh, slaps me? Ow! Feels ecstatic. Yes, and then you, lucky slice, you power hit her, you... Um... Okay, curveball, sure, let's just go curveball. And then you just attack. You need, he needs to save up as much of he can as much as he can to heal people later on. We're gonna have to use some items though. Sweetheart's done for loop feels happy. Ow! Don't freaking beat me! Okay. Love the battle music. Okay. Come on. Kill attack sweetheart. Okay. Nice. Oh, she is running low on that stuff quick though. Um, you just keep doing what you're doing. Lucky Slice. I don't know if it works very well on her if she's happy, but... Call it removes... Uh, fix anger. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna have to keep attacking, I think. Keep beating at her. You just... Keep flexing. Or wait, no. Did you flex before? I don't remember. No, you, you know what? Just try a run and gun. And then let's see if we can get it to work. And you just... Again, keep attacking. Uh... Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, she laughed at me? Okay. Oh, everyone's angry. Oh, that is less good. How am I supposed to lucky slice if he's angry? That's not good. Okay. Um... So she, she just made everyone really angry. Anger, anger is good against happy, but I don't have anything that's good with anger, though. Dang it. It's pointless, you fools. You cannot dampen my positive energy. Became happy. Okay, so she's gonna... Oh, yeah, she's happy. Okay. Wait, I have a thing. I have a thing. Hold on. Hold on. Trick. Yes. Sure. That's gonna work. Okay. And then you... Aubrey, I think you're gonna do more damage as you become angry, but... Okay, just run and gun. Or f actually flex. And you just attack. Keep going. Keep going. Ow! 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 Ew, it was a moving attack. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, now we're enraged. Okay, okay, okay. I think that makes us so we're gonna hit less, though. Oh, -ho, my beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. Sweetheart became ecstatic. Oh, no, she became more distorted in color. Is she just... Oh, yeah, she's really happy. Okay, hold on. Oh, no! Oh, that's just gonna... No, this is just gonna one-shot him. How... What am I even supposed to do about that? Oh, dang it. And then revive him. Bring him back, please. Oh, boy. Oh, my gem. Yes. Nice, nice. If I can keep everyone alive to pull off that, like, the final attack, that will make me so happy. Swing from You're nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants in the dungeon. What was I supposed to do? She one-shot my entire team! Holy crap! Okay, so it's been a bit. Um, it's been a bit, but I feel like I'm more ready now. Um, I leveled up my characters quite a bit, basically. Um, since you last probably checked on in on me. It's been a little bit. Uh, I got my characters a lot stronger, they're a lot better off now, but there is a still, like, we still don't have nearly enough health to promise that she won't just one-shot uh, Omari and just kill him outright. So, that's just a risk we're gonna have to run. I don't see any sort of level in the near future where we'd be able to reach 200 or whatever it was she did to me. But, all I can hope is just that she doesn't get me down to that, like, one life mode before she uses that attack. Because that's sort of like my only saving grace if she hits me with it. it it's having that second, um... Or second fight for your life mode. But I leveled up my characters and I got a bunch of abilities that also seemed like they could help a lot. First of all, Omri actually got an ability called the Painful Truth, which I don't know if that's a story-related thing, but it's not very useful, it makes him sad and the foe sad, but what's really the kicker is an ability that you're about to see very soon, and that is um, 
Oh, that is Aubrey's Mood Wrecker. This thing only spends a 10 of her juice, and it's a swing that doesn't miss, and it deals extra damage to happy foes. And she is gonna be extremely happy, so... I'm gonna start hitting with a power hit right now, because she's not happy at the moment, but... Then we're just gonna we're just gonna try to see how it goes. He also um, Kel also has juice me, so I can now give juice to friends, and then the hero can heal them up a bit, which is very useful. But let's just see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe we'll make it this time. If I can just get Kel up, I have ten. I have ten for God's sake. Just let me use the power move and get on with it. I don't remember how I haven't used it in so long. How do I use it? I don't remember. How do I use the power attack? Come on. Oh, 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 release energy! How do I release energy? How do I release energy? God fucking damn it, that's not what I wanted to do at all! I should have clicked down, shouldn't I? I should have. God fucking damn it. Okay. Yeah, that's. The God fucking damn it! I am an idiot. Okay, slaps off. That's not that bad. Also, in case people are curious, yes, I did give her, like, Aubrey the body pillow, and I gave everyone the best stuff that they could possibly have at that moment. I know that I could find more stuff throughout the world. That would probably be way better, but not necessary for the, or, or I don't know. I, I can't go back and find it now. Okay, just keep going. Actually, you should maybe cook for, your, cook for Aubrey. I don't want to risk it. Oh, okay. Oh, my beauty and grace is bound as an everlasting. It's a shame you won't be able to enjoy it much longer. King Static. Okay, that should do a lot of damage. Okay, okay, please. Omri, don't die. That's all I want. Ugh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now I just need her to not one-shot my team in the next round, and I'll be amazing. Okay, please just continue what you're doing. You... I actually don't know what you're gonna do. Probably one juice me for him, and then cook for... Kel, honestly, we can do without you at this time. You're not important. We, we just need you for this final attack. There we go, please. Please. Please? Yes! Ultimate attack! Yes, please! Do it! Beat her down! Come on! Do it! How much is it gonna do? I don't know! Oh, yeah! Hmm, I see you're still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. Sweetheart became manic. Oh, fuck. She is still go- Is she still going? Oh my god. Um, okay, 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 okay. E no! Uh, ha, 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 ha. We're good. We're good. It was just Omri. It, it's not- It wasn't as bad as it looked. It was just Omri. It was just Omri. Okay. Okay. You are gonna eat a chicken wing. Yes. And you are just gonna keep going with that mood wrecker. Come on. Come on, folks. We gotta. You just run. Even you. You know what? Just attack. Just attack all out. Go all out. Use everything if necessary. Attack again. Sure. Come on. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, that was so fucking hard. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, thank goodness me. No! Is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants! Oh, I longed for that music so bad. Oh, my heart. Okay. Oh. You got a lot of clams. Omri grew to level 20. Learned shun. Wind up throw. Captivate. I mean, hero, you are captivating. And kill. Just remains continuously useless. As always, Kel. Kel, you're a nice person, but very useless. How could this be? You. You're all nothing. How dare you defy me? Saw them in the dungeon. Guards? Guards? Yeah, you won't face up against me. It's over, sweetheart. The wedding's cancelled. No, I... I can't accept this. Just leave me alone. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> is that space captain? It is Captain Space Space Boy. <laughs> 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 
My sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart. Oh, I'm so relieved I made it in time. You must stop this madness at once. Captain Spaceboy? You! You idiot! I thought I told you never to show your face in front of me again. Oh, sweetheart. My sweetheart. My jelly-filled donut. Please look into your heart and give me another chance. I should not have kept you waiting all those days. You. What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. Oh. Marry me, sweetheart, right here on this very stage. Oh my, this, this all so sudden. How, 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 how romantic. Sproutmo Mike, I order you to marry us immediately. Yes, at once, my liege. Uh, dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. Oh, forget the formalities, Mike. True love cannot wait. Y yes, my princess. Uh, <clears throat> by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and space husband. <laughs> Hell yeah, you may kiss the bride. Censored. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I'll go anywhere as long as it's with you. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We've been apart for too long. <laughs> I still love the, like, car key click. Come, my ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there's one last thing I must do. Sproutmon Mike, hand me the button. M at, at once, my queen. What button? The button to end all things? The button of destruction? I hope not. We won't need all this anymore. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen, our sherry awaits. <laughs> I'm so... This game sure does take its twists and t its twists and turns, doesn't it? Mercury... Retrograde. That is adorable, though. I like that ending. Although I know that they're just like action figures in real life, I think. Yeah, they are just action figure, figure, or like mascots at least. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's gonna end well at all. No, there's a reason that you quit relationships. And usually when people come back together in those relationships, it's just because they, and usually when people come back into relationships, they don't really fix what was the problem in the first place. Um, it, it's, it's usually just trying to forget that that initial problem that may, br broke them apart in the first place is there and just focus on the exact same things that made them attracted to each other in the first place. Therefore, it's a kind of a shitty loop to go back into. Yeah, I guess it's what a complete waste of time. It did feel like I've recorded for fucking three hours. Oh my god. <laughs> it does feel like a waste. Actually, it doesn't. I enjoyed it every bit. It's just a long time to be talking. You bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. That's actually very nice. From a gameplay perspective. I've gotten really into the gameplay of it. But also because I just feel like I... I don't know. Again, I think I said it before. I just... I like the combos. And the way that this this game plays RPG-wise. Oh. So what's the goal now? Uh. I just noticed it. I noticed it before my character stopped. I noticed it out in the corner of my eye. Oh no. That's Basil. I recognize that sprite from anywhere. What's the matter, Omari? Is there something wrong? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I love this game though. It's amazing. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? What? Oh, that's us jumping. I've gone.
Where are we? I can't picture if this is spooky or just serene. Where am I? Read an excerpt. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than blank, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Blank disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes, it, makes her way across the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. Blank's face turns red and yells, Blank, but Blank is already long gone. Blank hands, Blank some wet paper towels. It looks like they're only the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is gonna stain. They'll have to deal with Blank later. What? Where is everything? Okay, it doesn't. I, I thought there was something really terrible going on in that. I, I don't know. I, it, it read like. I thought it was like a description of someone being dead or something. But I don't think it was. You find a book of interest, read an excerpt. Yeah. This year, Blank was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to a smaller win small window. Every day during class, Blank would gaze listlessly through the opening, at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. Homery? Or Sunny? He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Blank stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Blank looks away from the opening. Blank smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blank's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Oh. What is this, though? It's amazing we're not done with this chapter yet. It's been years. Read an excerpt? Yeah. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings el eligible. Illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turn jumping off the statue. Blank jumps first, then blank, then blank again, then blank. The brothers gleefully urge Blank to join them. Shuffles up to the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, Blank, I'm pretty sure this is Omri, fear of heights, fear of spiders, Loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what, is, that is what he believes. Blank shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. So that's Hero and... Um, that, that's Hero and Kel. And that's the story of how I developed some of my fears, I think. Okay. What is that? The wall feels hollow here. Okay, weird. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7am to 11am, a group of six friends eat at a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Blank looks at the clock. 8 a.m., two hours left. He'd be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Blank grimaces. What he thought would be an, a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. The violin. There's pictures of... Isn't there a picture of Omiri playing the, the violin? I also do remember, I think I talked about this, but um, in one of the flash screens where it just shows you a picture for like a frame, um, there was a picture of a broken violin. 
Okay. I don't like the hangman puzzle, but I know it doesn't mean anything story-wise as of right now. Seven keys left. Has the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Sure. Hey, Basil. What happened with Basil and Omari? Don't forget it's in the toy box. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Okay. No more additions, I think. Is the door here this time? Nope. I hate this. I hate it. Two days left. And in case you're wondering, in case you're forgetting, two days left until the moving. Uh, before we move from town, I think. Hey, Sonny. How's things going? Also, I learned that apparently there's a second run of the this game you can do. Um, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna start this chapter. Although I think it's just Kel or someone who's out there. Let's save. Yeah. Um, overwrite this, and then just keep it here. Okay. Jeez, man, what a what a what a game. This game really does a job at a dragging out. This game sure as shit drags it out. It almost like completely forgets or makes you forget what game you're playing because you it gives you so much time to just sit in what the other world is. And it's only and and, and, and that makes those small moments where reality peaks in or anxiety peaks in and like where the more horror segmented parts creep in all the more like unsettling because they catch you so off guard the thing with the thing with seeing the anxiety through the vines and just the music cutting like that beautiful beautiful so will i say that it's absolutely worth dragging out the game so much to experience those small moments i don't know i don't know yet i still need to feel sort of the conclusion of everything to feel whether or not if this story could have been shortened down a lot and didn't need to be this long at all um but still i am up for playing more of this it's been Three hours of me recording though, so that's why these videos sort of take a while to record because there's just a lot of RPG-ish elements to it and they're not necessarily the most fun to watch. So I just cut out a lot of small parts like the, some of the fights and some of the puzzle segments where I just run around and try to figure out what to do. That's just how it is. So it is a little bit tough on me to record uh, this sort, sort of let's play, so I hope that you guys can be patient with me, although I do hope to record, be recording this much sooner. Uh, than the last one, especially also since we're going into my favorite segment, which is uh, the real life segments. I find them so cool and so so like deep and in enthralling to just talk about. But anyways, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, it keeps me going even when the going gets tough. Please do remember to hit that like button. It lets me know what pivots to your interest. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.